Saying auto-tune ruined music is an exhausted argument that old people have been complaining about for the past 15 years. Old people, Their the older is generation. Their use the tool on anyone's voice what and will sure magically make them a great paint? singer, which is only partially true. Look at this bad singer with auto-tune versus a good singer with auto-tune. To the fire, to the limit, to the walls. Oh, I sound good. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know I've been looking for you. Oh, that sounds really so, bad. Basically, the tool can make a bad singer somewhat tolerable and a good singer sound near perfect. But some artists use it for creative purposes. T Pain is the artist most commonly associated with auto tune, and he is actually a phenomenal singer. True. He used the effect in 2004 not to be better. I remember people didn't think T Pain could sing. I mean, I was one of those people as well until, you know, I heard the tiny desk and some other clips of him just straight up singing, dude. Like, it's amazing. T Pain said uh, in one of his interviews that a good auto tune, you won't be able to really hear it like chris brown uses a bunch of autotune but the fact that we can't tell is the software working That's but pretty cool different. during the beginning of this video i want you to stop thinking about artists like t-pain travis scott kanye west and anyone else who uses, travis scott uses as a heavily effect that's not who we're talking about right now the artists in question are the ones who are understood to be good or great singers but use autotune to achieve perfection because there is a big problem See, that's a weird thing, man. Like, why do, why do, like, with, you know, women singers, we kind of hold them to a really high standard. But with male singers who try to sing, they're not really held to that type of standard. That's a weird kind of dynamic that's between the woman and the male as far as it comes to creating singing and stuff. But males do still sometimes get, like, uh, criticism and stuff. But mostly, even with the women, heavily get, like, if they find out they're getting, they're using autotune, oh my god, like. It's almost the end of the career. Well, not today, but it was back then. Like, autotune has such a bad stigma to it as far as if you're really trying to sing versus you using it as like a, what Travis Scott or like how he was saying T Pain uses it to create more of just more effect to the song and stuff. So it's just weird how we how we kind of judge that in that way with perfect singing. But first, a word from our sponsor, Kami Kodo. Over okay. 800 years of Japanese technology and expertise. He has a Japanese. The steel that makes up these knives. All steel is sourced from mills in Japan. What? Which How do you even get this ad? Steel on the planet. Each Kami Kodo knife goes through a rigorous That's actually a really cool sponsor. process that takes years to complete. Each knife is individually inspected. Kami Kodo is so confident about their knives that each one comes with a lifetime guarantee. The knives are used by Michelin star chefs all over the world. Also, they come in a beautiful, heavy three set. ash wood box that makes for a great gift. The presentation is flawless. I hate cutting fruits and vegetables. Okay. But this, like butter, makes me excited to cut up my fruits. There is a little bit of force there, but it's okay. It's like no effort at all. Kamikoto has a really exciting offer right now just for the water pack. You'll get an additional $50 off any purchase you make with Damn. discount code Patrick CC. But it must be Click really expensive. Click the link in my description, slash Patrick CC, and use my promo code Patrick really cool CC sponsor, to get $50 though, off your purchase today. Thanks, Kamikoto. It's good to note that Autotune is a plugin, a program that was invented by Andy Hildebrand in 1997. The word auto is important because the program automatically perfects their singing in real time. Shortly after, another similar program was invented called Melodyne. The basic goal of these tools? Pitch correction. When an artist sings, they are trying to hit specific notes. If they miss a note, these tools will essentially force the sound recording up or down in pitch to correct the error. But That's missing so a cool. note is not an error. It's called character, style, color, emotion. Sure, if you miss every note, or are constantly missing notes, you are just bad at singing. But the way a singer misses the notes is what makes them unique. Listen to the before and after pitch correction on a great singer's voice. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. You may not be able to they hear sound a huge really... difference, but the version with Melodyne removes some of the soul in Bill's voice. Here's an example it that is a kind little of more same. obvious. Let me go home. Notice how that E4 note Michael Buble sang is a perfectly straight line? This would be like pressing down on a piano. The accuracy is next to impossible to achieve by a human. Oh, I'm just far from where you are. His singing just kind of sounds like noise, like a robot. 
no emotion. Yeah, it did which kind of sound like robotic the there. Because it's an emotional song. Here's another example. When my eyes were stared by the flash of a neon light. Just it's those subtle differences, like those subtle things that can really take away from like the emotion of a of a song or a piece like it's really interesting how that even happens of just that one switch can completely like turn you off or it could completely like whoa this is the greatest thing ever it's those little things those those little things that you don't even notice that are just like eh, that sounds right or well, that sounds wrong music is such a great or sounds very robotic and soulless now compare that to someone who is not using autotune somebody to now, Freddie Mercury is considered to be one of the best of all time, but this singing isn't perfect pitch. You can see he's missing some notes, but it still sounds amazing, filled with emotion, with life. Perfect pitch removes the human element of the voice, but these days, human connection doesn't even matter. Not using autotune might actually do more harm than good. If human connection mattered, then electronic dance music wouldn't be as popular as it is. In most genres, it seems but like I the feel connection like, comes I from... I feel like with electronic music, it's more of the feeling, right? The feeling of, like, the beat, the feeling of kind of the rhythm around the room, the environment. Like, it really matters to have that, you know? So it's interesting how, you know, those dynamics... Work. Rhythm of the beat or the lyrics, rather than the actual voice of the performer. See? However, I think we can agree that hearing an artist perform their work with no effects makes us feel something. I couldn't fight it. I'd hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that there is there is a beauty in the rawness of it. But you can't even get that rawness with autotune. You know, you have I mean look at 808 and Heartbreaks. That was such an amazing and passionate uh, album from Kanye and like you could still feel the rawness, the emotion within even using the autotune. So it, it it's weird. I wonder if he gets into that. <laughs> Ooh, there's just some talented people there's something out there. special about a human that can sing so well even singers who don't have amazing pitch are able to evoke an emotional response to the listener based on the passion they convey oh yeah that's so like that's such a good example of that like the eeriness of like ymw like the feeling the invo the emotion he conveys the darkness within it even like a travis scott does that a lot using autotune so it's it's kind of two things that you can kind of see you know one using autotune and the other one not but still kind of creating that same you know emotional state oh this one was crazy too this one was like with passion with like fury with like you know, a certain a sense of agency within like Roddy. And this is one of the biggest things that I feel like kind of put Roddy on the map. Not not only this, but his music in general. It's so energetic and so upbeat. People dug in the birds and not the meagles. Almost singing like with his kind of like soul at that time. I don't know about now, you know what I mean? But at that time you could even you can feel like the the wants. Live performances is where you get to see all your favorite artists perform their songs in their natural voice. Maybe. Some singers are very adamant about not using autotune in live performances, but sometimes autotune is applied to their microphones without them even knowing. Oh. Yo, can we, let's, I know we're live right now, but I think you guys have some tune on my vocals or something. Bieber's autotune was likely that set really to the wrong key, up. which was making his singing sound terrible. If it was in the right key, he may not have even noticed. But does a singer using autotune live ruin the value Yo, of the Yo, that like stopped them in the Is tracks. it dishonest? When you consider they have to dance, engage the crowd, and pace themselves properly for one or two hours, they get fatigued and are likely to miss some notes. So a little help from autotune isn't the worst thing in the world. Think about the big bright lights, bass blasting through the massive speakers, standing in the middle of a sea of people, everyone dancing and living in the moment. So cool. That is what makes the performance memorable. It doesn't really matter what type of music is playing or who is performing it, as long as the energy and environment that is so is true. Right. Most that rappers so don't true. even perform their songs. They just play the MP3 version that you would listen to on Spotify, and they jump around screaming a few of the words. But rap fans still love these concerts. 
and these fans are starting to encourage the use of the effect. The attitude towards autotune varies from genre to genre. In EDM, nobody cares. Daft Punk have been using all kinds of crazy vocal effects since their inception, and nobody ever mentions them. After all, it is called electronic music. In hip-hop, it was heavily rejected at first, but thanks to a few legendary artists such as T-Pain, Kanye West, and Lil Wayne, over time it became beloved. Now most hip-hop fans don't mind the use of the effect. It's, a, it's almost like a, a necessity now. Why aren't you using it at this point? You know what I mean? Like It, it needs to be used and it creates a song that's really amazing, especially in, in the last, past decade. Like It's been really implemented into our culture, into the music today. Like It's really weird to not hear a song without autotune. Rock, pop, country, and other genres that have been traditionally dominated by talented vocalists is where artists get the most criticism. I mean, these are some of the oldest genres, where 50, 60, 70 years ago, your performance was everything. You wouldn't have a career if you weren't a good vocalist. These days, if you don't use autotune, it might actually hurt your potential. Kids and young adults will always be deciding what the status quo is for pop culture. Always. If you don't have a young fan base, you won't be topping the charts. Young people have been so conditioned to hearing perfect pitch for the past 20 years that when we hear something that isn't perfect, it sounds unprofessional or unfinished. Since the industry standard has been pushed to use pitch correction, you have to use it to stay competitive. This leads people to believe that it ruined the music industry. Now the barrier to entry into the music industry is lower than ever. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I mean, I wouldn't say that per se. I would say that even though, it, the, but there is a lot of music that's like, eerie and kind of out of tune and out of tune and it's just like you know it doesn't sound the greatest but it just feels the greatest so i wouldn't say that i don't want to say that we expect perfectness because there's a lot of bad songs that are one of the you know top charters so i don't have an example per se at the moment but there's plenty of them that's been like that so i'm not sure about that Ever. Anyone can buy a $50 microphone online, download or purchase a DAW and auto-tune and record a song, then post it on TikTok, go I mean, viral. okay, I have an example, like, uh, the early on XXX, Tentacion, like, his song sounded really bad. I mean, look, look at me, was sounded really terrible at the time, you know, even he said that they had a Blue Yeti mic, and they were kind of screaming into it, and we still kind of felt that. I mean, I feel like, I feel like how controversial auto-tune is, I don't think it really matters even... To the point where it's like if it's just creating the art and kind of capturing the feeling of it and kind of you know amplifying that it's still gonna be a great song a great song is gonna be a great song and the bad song is gonna be a great song if we make it into a great song if we feel like it is it's to each his own you know and sometimes to each his own becomes bigger and bigger and then you get the bandwagons and then you know it creates this massive hit that you would have have never thought it could be you know and get a record deal but is that a bad thing if people like the song then they like the song music is subjective after all however some artists will spend years and years mastering their craft only for it to fall on deaf ears whereas others blow up by accident or off a gimmick does one person deserve more recognition than another should there be a new grammy or award or category for real singers or non-auto-tune singers Autotune is just another technological advancement that was bound to happen. Humans are always trying to make things- Why not just use it at this point? Just use it. You're just trying to carry some sort of aut authenticity that's kind of- I don't even know what you would call that. It's like you're kind of forcing something when you don't need to be doing it, you know? But if you really want to do it and you're passionate about it and you want to keep it kind of in that core basis of what you think, then go for it. You know, if you love doing it. But if it's just kind of for like, oh, I do this kind of like people who like, oh, I freestyle with no notepad. Mm, you don't have to do that today. You can write, jot things down and it's not going to make you less of a rapper. It's not going to make you less of a freestyle. And I don't think it's going to make you less of a singer. I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't sing, so I wouldn't really know things about it. easier, faster, you know? more efficient. People think that singing is just a natural talent. It mostly isn't. It takes years and years of practice and training, along with maintaining that skill. Singers are constantly warming up their vocals, making sure they eat and drink properly, and trying to maintain their skill. But if you are pretty good, or very good, or kinda good, just slap a little bit of auto-tune and speed up that process. Because if you spend too much time perfecting your voice, there's a new singer that pops up every six months who yep. might captivate the audience's it's, interest. It's just going to set and you back. And they use auto-tune. The world is moving at an incredible pace. And greatness takes time. But people don't want to wait for greatness anymore. So most artists are not willing to take the risk and miss their chance at achieving their music dream. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, what, what, are, you, what are you doing, like, at this point?
you know, you can just use it and make the best out of it. Because there is going to be better people. There's just something that you can't compete with. I don't really think that autotune ruined music. I think that autotune amplified music, made music better, was a tool to music. If you want to sing without autotune, go ahead. If you want to sing with autotune, go ahead. It's just a tool that was created to make more, you know, art, per se. If the art's gaining from it, from it, then shouldn't it not be something that ruined it? Shouldn't it be something that made it better? So th that's kind of my take on it. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Did Autotune ruin it? I don't know. I have to disagree. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Smash that sub button. We need to get these subs going up. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a good one. And peace.